What up? I'm back. Gonna get into some more Assassin's Creed. I've been gone for a like, man, not for a little minute, but just, I know, take a break. My Wi-Fi's in the fucking fritz. Let's go ahead and hop into it. While we done, let's go ahead and get some viewpoints, secrets and whatnot. ass over this damn motherfucking ledge. I almost died there. And but spam in the chat, let me know. Y'all looking to for any more uh, y'all looking forward to any more Assassin's Creed because they should do one about ninjas. I know there's some real life ninjas out there. I just found myself a little fucking viewpoint. Going the right way. Let me know in the comments, though, shoot. Like, if y'all want to see me get some secrets or what. You know what I'm saying? Cause I enjoy the shot Assassin's Creed. Yeah, hold on. I control acting. Okay, there you go. One of my buttons was stuck. 
Last time you let one of the little cousins ain't play on the game joystick, I ain't know that nobody sticky hands, probably eating candy and shit. Not to save him, but... Hmm. Alright, finally get to that chest later. Fuck it. Let's go ahead and go to this next mission, y'all. Let's check this out before we go. There could be something we can use. Maybe I'll find out what that is later. <laughs> Mr. Wapole, I presume. Let's go ahead and get into it. Buenos dias. Mr. Duncan Walpole of England to see the governor. I believe he is expecting me. Si, sí, señor Walpole. Entre, por favor. Ese es el hombre. ¿Cómo lo llamarás? ¿Asesino? Sí, Duncan Walpole. Debería haber llegado hace muchos días. No me gusta que los extranjeros se paseen por vuestra ciudad. No me fío de ellos. Cállate. El gobernador tiene invitados. Todos franceses e ingleses. Parece un hombre duro. Me sugería un aspecto más respetable. Llévame ese en la cámara. Long stairs. Mm-hmm. 
Anyway, let's go ahead and I wish he walked up fucking faster. This nigga walking slow and shit. some years ago. Percy's Masquerade Ball. Ah, quite. She called you devilishly handsome. Obviously a lie to stoke my jealousy. <laughs> Julianne, our guest of honor has arrived, Mr. Duncan Walpole. <sighs> Julianne Ducat, I hope your conversion to our order is an honest I have no love for assassins, but even less for liars. I have not come to disappoint. <laughs> Up for a bit of sport, Uncle? The old man isn't ready just yet. You've got my two best pairs of matched pistols, Duncan, so handle them with care. If I had eight, I'd treat each as my own son. Pull off a few shots if you like. Get a feel for it. <laughs> I once fought beside a man who carried nine on his person. They were a boom in battle, but hindered his ability to swim. Sadly. <laughs> Quite. Yes? I long for the day one my arm carries four bullets, and not the opposite. In England, you may like to meet you. James is working on something extraordinary. Magnifique. I've never seen an assassin so ill-equipped. Ah, damage sadly beyond all repair. Uh-huh. Have your choice. Where did you find all these? I did not find them. I took them. These are souvenirs. Custom, I. Duncan, will you indulge us with a demonstration of your techniques? Well, you must. We put together a training course in anticipation of your arrival. It would be a shame to leave here without seeing you in action. Yes, of course. Well, I mean, if there is time, I would gladly uh, show you what I know. Here. You see, the situation is well suited to your skills. Have a go. A blade in a crowd is always the simplest. Nothing grandiose, just quick and clean. So it's another technique. Quite ingenious to use bales of hay for cover, don't you think? Spirit? Secrecy. 
The advantage of surprise cannot be overstated, isn't that so? Especially around a blind corner. Despite their conspicuous quality, would you show us? Money. Is it also possible to deliver a killing blow at high speed? The assassins have trained you well, Duncan. You chose a perfect time to leave them behind. At great risk, I imagine. Betraying the assassins is never good for one's health. Well, neither is drinking liquor, but I am drawn to its dangers all the same. And what is your business here, sir? Are you an associate of the governor's, or a pending acquaintance like myself? Guns, blades, cannons, grenados... Anything that may kill a man, I am happy to provide. A smuggler of sorts. And how is your wife these days, Captain Rogers? Is she, uh, here, in Havana? I trust she's well, but I wouldn't know. I've been in Madagascar some 14 months hunting pirates. It took some work to dislodge the criminals there, but we managed it. In future, I hope to use these same tactics throughout the West Indies. And how did you deal with that kind? Very simply. Most pirates are as ignorant as apes. I merely offered them a choice, take a pardon and return to England penniless, but free men, or be hanged by the neck until dead. Oh. I imagine Nassau would be your next target. Very astute, Duncan, indeed. Best of luck with that. Grandmaster Torres! Mr. Duncan Walpole has arrived. See. You expected one week ago. Apologies, Governor. My ship was set upon by pirates. We were scuttled. I arrived only yesterday. Unfortunate. Forgive my caution, but were you able to salvage from these pirates the island you promised me? Uh, yes, sir. I was. Assassins have more resources than I had imagined, but not nearly enough to deter us. It is a pleasure to meet you at last, Duncan. You are most welcome. Come, gentlemen. We have much to discuss. Convened at last. And in such continental company, England, France, Spain, citizens of sad and corrupted empires. But you are Templars now, the secret and true legislatures of the world. Please, hold out your hands. Mark and remember our purpose. To guide our wayward souls till they've reached a quiet road. To guide all wayward desire till impassioned hearts are cool. To guide all wayward minds to safe and sober thought. By the Father of Understanding's light, let our work now be done. Decades ago, the Council entrusted me with the task of locating in these West Indies a forgotten place our precursors once called the Observatory. See here. 
Look upon these images and commit them to memory. They tell a very old and important story. For two decades now, I have endeavored to locate this observatory. A place rumored to contain a tool of incredible utility and power. It houses a kind of armillary sphere, if you like. A device that would grant us the power to locate and monitor every man and woman on Earth, whatever their location. Only imagine what it would mean to have such a power. With this device, there would be no secrets among men. No lies, no trickery. Only justice, pure justice. This is the observatory's promise, and we must take it for our own. Do we know its whereabouts? We will soon. For in our custody is the one man who does, a man named Roberts. <coughs> a sage. It has been 45 years since anyone has seen a true sage. Can you be sure this one is authentic? I just pickpocketed that and I ain't know this damn thing. The assassins will come for you. Indeed they will. But thanks to Duncan and the information he has delivered, the assassins won't be a problem for much longer. All will be made clear tomorrow, gentlemen, when you meet the sage for yourselves. Until then, let us drink. Let us find the observatory together. For with its power, kings will fall, clergy will cower, and the hearts and minds of the world will be ours. I do make the game better. Rest well, Duncan. Tomorrow the treasure fleet arrives, and with it, your reward. After which we will discuss further schemes. I look forward to it. Excelente. Meet me down at the docks first thing tomorrow morning. Governor Torres requests your presence at the docks near the Castillo. First thing tomorrow morning. <coughs> I just learned how to hire some pirates. I want to actually say the pirates. Let me go back. At You go. Not what I expected, but hey, shit, it what it is. Shit. Sorry about that sound. That's my phone going on uh, Facebook, not Facebook, but uh, Instagram notification. Oh, Hope I can freaking man get this motherfucker goddamn shit set.
Got some new, got some heat. <laughs> All right, mayday. Well, I'd be damned. Boy, I got the heat. Big ass piece. Uh, all right. All right, guys, I'm going to end it here. Right, I'm going to catch you guys in the next one. Peace. Hopefully, my fucking Wi-Fi won't be acting up a goddamn fool. And I will see y'all the next one. Peace.